and tonight is game 41, the official halfway point of the season. So we thought we'd have Professor Jackson here give out some mid-season grades. So we're going to start with the reigning MVP, Joel Embiid, somehow gotten even better when you look at his stats. I mean, yes, Amy, you know, you look at the big fella, 35 points, 34 minutes. Look at that. More points than minutes. Yep, career highs and everything. He's playing a lot. He's doing a good thing. Leads NBA eight games with 40 plus points. But you know, I'm a harsh teacher and I don't give curves. And the one thing about my buddy Joel, which I love him, Hanju, now I love you. But he missed some games. So for me, I give him a B plus. I know I'm gonna get the smoke, people, but he's missed 10 games. 10 games to me is a lot because why I think he's the biggest, baddest man on the planet and I want to see him get that MVP uh, trophy along with a championship two consecutive years. But the new rules, you got to play at least 65 games yeah. to get that MVP trophy. So I want to see him play B plus because he haven't played all the games or majority. He's played majority, but not as many as I would like. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and at you on that one so everybody can comment. Uh, that's what I want to do. Let's move on to Tyrese Maxey, who's perhaps taken on the greatest role change, replacing James Harden as the Sixers point guard. By any measure, Maxey has been absolutely sensational. He's taken the added responsibility and literally run with it. 13th in the league at over 26 points a game. He's handled the point guard duties incredibly well. Seventh in the NBA in assist-to-turnover ratio. So, Mark, his ability to make difficult shots in traffic is, dare I say it, Iverson S, mm. who you played with. What grade would you give the Mad Max in his first half of the season this year? I gave the, the smiling one to a, a. Let me tell you why. Yes, he's averaging a, a, a career high. Yes, he's leading the league in minutes. But the best stat to me is how high he is on the turnover to assist ratio. To me, for a point guard that's leading the league in minutes, that has the ball in his head more than anybody, that's phenomenal for a young guy. So I give it A for young Tyrese Maxey. Plays like that. Just You just don't see anybody else making those plays. All right, the other gentleman on our graphic that's a player of Incredible course, graphic, by the way. You see the is the Incredible. Shout out to our art department. Uh, Tobias Harris, who has also undergone another role change, this time under Nick Nurse. He's scoring up there, up three points per game over last season, adding the shooting percentage that is excellent. But he's always att but he's attempting fewer threes than in any season since he joined the Sixers five years ago. So maybe that's not the one good thing when you see this. So seeing a real physicality from him, some more aggressiveness lately. He's not just standing in the corner waiting for the shot to maybe come his way. So what grade do you give Toby in the first half of the season? I love Tob Tobias Harris. has been ultra aggressive in the last five to six games. We need that the rest of the season. And listen, 90 for free throw line, 51% from field, and 37% from three, which I think if he keeps playing the way he is, is going to get it up to 40. He'd be a 90, 50, mm. 40 guy. To me, He's averaging 17.7 .7 points a game, which is wonderful. But I cannot give this man an A because he's he's starting to pick it on, uh, come up early, I mean later, but he didn't start the season that way. I'm going to give him a B plus. And why? Because he's earned up to a B plus the way he's been playing and performing as of late. Yeah, he came out the gate so hot, and then he had that dip, and now he's kind of maybe getting back there, you would hope. But let's talk about the new head coach. That would be Nick Nurse. Sixers will be on pace for 56 wins if they win tonight in Charlotte. The bench completely revamped in that James Harden trade. So what grade do you give Coach Nurse in the first half? See, you refer to him as Nick Nurse. We refer to him as the mad scientist. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got to get a man an A. And let me tell you why I give Nick Nurse an A. Because once again, Philadelphia has to start the season with some drama. We come to the James Harden thing and whatever it is, what it is. It's always some drama here in Philly. We love it. So now with that being said, he, brought, he, he accepted the drama. He, he accepted what it is. He turned it into his favor and was able to use guys in certain parts. We got four great guy players from the Clippers. We got some draft picks. I love the way he's using Maxi and Joel Embiid. They're playing very efficient basketball. Tobias Valet, I get his man an A+. Plus, an a, you know why? Because I think as the season progresses, we get in playoffs, we have not seen the best of Nick Nurse coaching. Yeah, it's such a different offense, and the play sets are so different, and the way that things are run, I would think automatically it seems like just dealing with the, the drama, he already had a good, I know you don't yeah. grade on a curve, but already kind of a good, good head start. <sighs> yeah, oh a little God, bit, I mean, a little bit. I, got I gave him an A. Listen, I gave him yeah. an A. I'm All not right. going to hide in that, Amy. But All listen, right. I love the way Nick Nurse has is, is, is run this team. I think they've been phenomenal on the offensive, defensive end. And he has guys playing for confidence. Yeah. I like that. 